Hey guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about setting up the robot manager for Pega Robotic. So let's get started. In the last tutorial, we learned how to set up the uh, Pega platform or Pega PRPC platform. So just uh, simply go to your desktop and locate uh, this uh, Pega platform uh, startup uh, icon. It's a kind of a play button. So just uh, simply go ahead and just double click on this button. It will launch the console or cmd kind of window that would start up uh, a database server and uh, application server which is tomcat tomcat application server so it's just uh, starting up all the required server which we required uh, to run the pega platform application uh, so let's wait until it's uh, start up all the required uh, servers it takes uh, around uh, five minutes of time to completely start up all the required servers. Once server is done uh, setting up all the required uh, nodes and everything, uh, you will see this message saying configured, uh, uh, finished configuration of node uh, for full text search with no error. It means uh, all the required servers are started successfully. So now go ahead and just double click on this Pega platform login uh, button or icon. it will launch the Pega platform in your default browser and by that time you can just simply minimize this uh, startup uh, CMD window or console window so once your Pega platform launches uh, you will see it will ask you for the credential to enter so the default credential is same for all the personal edition uh, Pega platform application so you can simply enter the administrator at the rate pega.com and the password is install i n s t a l l once you enter the administrator at the rate pega.com and install as a password go ahead and just click on the login button it should take you to the Pega platform once you log into the Pega platform it will take you to the designer studio or the designer window wherein you can design your application so uh, that we will learn in the next tutorial uh, in this tutorial let's focus on setting up the robot manager so the robot uh, Pega robot manager works uh, with Pega platform uh, so to set up the Pega robot manager first we need to again go back uh, and log in on your uh, PDN network uh, so it's pdn dot pega dot com it will navigate to the community dot pega dot com once you are on the community page just locate the search button click on the search it will ask you to enter certain uh, text there search here just type pega robot manager version 5 uh, at this point of time, uh, the latest version uh, available for Robot Manager is version 5. So we can download the latest version of uh, Robot Manager. Now click on the first link available, which is Pega Robot uh, Manager version 5. And just scroll a bit down and here you can read out Pega Robot Manager version 5 is supported on a minimum platform version of Pega 7.4 so this is our Pega 7.4 version that you can also check out on your uh, on your uh, desktop uh, icon it says Pega platform 7.4.0 login 
So we already have Pega 7.4 version installed on our system. So we are good to download the Robot Manager 5. And to download Pega uh, Robot Manager from uh, Pega Exchange, go to the Pega Robot Manager page. So just click on the Pega Robot Manager. And here you can see the download latest version. And if you scroll a bit down, you can see the other uh, available version for Pega Robot Manager that supports to the different uh, Pega platform versions that you can see here. So we're going to download the latest one since we already have Pega platform 7.4 installed on our system. So download has started and it's going to take a little bit of time to download the file. So our download has completed. We'll go ahead and just unzip our uh, zip file. Locate the latest downloaded zip file, which is here, Pega Robot Manager. Right click. Click on Extract All. Click on Extract. It should unzip your robot manager file and now locate the robot manager 5 underscore rules dot jar file and go back to your uh, Pega platform to configure a uh, robot manager on Pega platform you should go to your uh, designer studio then go to the applications then look at your distributions and under the distribution click on the import so our uh, pega platform is basically built on the uh, java and uh, it's uh, it just that it it is based on the certain rules uh, and now for the robot manager we are just going to import the rule file only rule jar file so once we are done importing it will set up all the required things for robot manager so now uh, since our file is stored on the local drive so we're gonna just have it default selected local file and just choose on the uh, just click on the choose file Now go to your download folder or the folder where you have stored your robot manager and rules. You have selected your files. Now click on the next. And just wait for a couple of moments to load this robot manager rule jar file properly okay on the next screen just click on the enable advanced mode to provide more uh, granular control over the import uh, process and we do not uh, set restore point to save metadata during the import that you can keep and check click on next so there are certain default uh, operator ids already existing with uh, robot manager so basically operator id is a kind of user id that we uh, use on the pega platform operator literally means about the user at the credential operator id means credential that we're going to use to log in the uh, backup platform application or the robot manager now click on the next leave everything as default and again click on the next
and it will take a little bit of time to load all the records okay uh, once uh, it done loading all the required files you will see this window if there is any error then it will show the number of error and for now we can ignore this is related to the uh, archive load or something just go ahead and click on the done So that's it uh, about setting up uh, the robot manager. In the next tutorial, we would uh, learn about uh, creating a new application using Pega platform and using the robot manager along with that application. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Have a great day ahead.